Welcome back. This is the week where we learn Java Spring Boot. Java Spring Boot in a nutshell is a framework by Pivotal and by using Java Spring Boot framework, you can create side-by-side -side application in Cloud Foundry very easily. To learn Java Spring Boot, we have divided this particular section into four levels. If you are already familiar with Spring Boot, you can skip initial level, initial level one and level two, and directly join the level in which you are competent with. For example, if you are already experienced with Spring Boot, but don't know how to do database operation or Cloud Foundry operation, then join in level three. If you are already having those experience, but only want the microservice experience, then join in level four. Now, if you are beginner and want to learn from beginning, then you can start from level one. In the level one, we are going to talk about basics. In the level two, we are going to go inside Spring Boot application and understand few fundamental concepts about how the Spring Boot works, what is the life cycle of Bean and how we can control it, what is Bean actually. So all that we will try to learn. In the third level, we will try to create a fully fledged application first using a local post SQL database. Our focus will be to create REST based service application. We are not going to create application which consists of UI, but more like a middleware. So our application will be a middleware, which is where we are going to implement the REST based services. First, we are going to work with post SQL database. This is the local database, or you can have your own machine spin in Google or Amazon cloud, and you can use that, which we will be actually doing. Then we will be using the pivotal Cloud Foundry services where we will spin Elephant database. And if you are having any kind of free trial in Pivotal, you can perform the same steps. We will show you how to integrate the Spring Boot application into Pivotal, how to bind services and use those. This services is of Elephant database services, and Elephant database is equivalent to the post GRE SQL database in the local setup. Now, once we have worked with these two setup, we are going to go for SAP Cloud Foundry and we are going to create our own HDI container. Now with free trial, you don't get HANA database. You only at this point of the time get HDI container. So we are going to create the HDI container and we are going to implement the CRUD queue operation with the HDI container. Now you have to remember in the above two where we have the post SQL database and Elephant database, we will be seeing one powerful concept of Java Persistency API, which is also known as JPA. With the help of JPA, we can easily create CRUD queue operation. We have to just extend the classes and all the implementation comes automatically. But with HDI, we have to manually write those CRUD queue implementation. We will also tell you how if you have a paid services in SAP Cloud Foundry, you can create your own database. And if you have a paid service in SAP Cloud Foundry and you have access to HANA database, then you can also use JPA there. But in this particular section, our focus will be how with a free trial, you as a learner can also do all the hands-on steps which we have covered. Now, once we have gone through these three steps within the level three, then we will go and work with the microservices. We will see a simple application, how microservice app works, how you can create it, and we will deploy this to Cloud Foundry as well. And this time this will be SAP Cloud Foundry. We will deploy this microservice, and this will be a simple demo microservice app. Now this section will prepare you and give you enough confidence with Spring Boot application development. When we go in the next step where we are working with our CAPM model, you will be much more clear about how to work with the cloud. And also, if you have any kind of requirement for Spring Boot Java application development for implementing REST based API for CRUD queue operation, you will be easily able to perform that. So, let's go to the next section where we start with the level one for learning Java Spring Boot application development in Cloud Foundry.